Hey everybody, Mace Penguin here. Since my last From the Depths tutorial, several things about the game have changed and the method that I used for creating my replicas has also changed. Some people in the From the Depths community have asked how I go about using the hologram projectors in-game to display my blueprints at the correct scale, but today I'll show you how. Of course you first need a blueprint. I have here the builder's prints of HMS Puncher of the American Bogue class of escort carriers. You don't need builder's blueprints, any blueprint will work as long as you have a top view and a side view. These prints just allow me to have exact length measurements and plans of all the decks of the ship and more details allowing for more aesthetics in our builds. So the first thing we're going to do is take note of the overall length of the ship here. 495 feet, 8 and 8 inches. We're going to convert that to meters, which I have done already. It's 151.08 meters, so we can call it 151 and we'll be fine. Next, we're going to scroll down to the side profile and we're just going to zoom in until it fills our screen from top to bottom without cutting off any of the ship itself. What this allows us is to preserve as much detail as possible. If we were zoomed out, the image would be a lot lower quality. The next, what we're going to do is we're just going to scroll till we get the very end of the ship and we're just going to start taking screenshots. The next, what we're going to do is open our image editing program of choice, such as paint.net. We're going to start pasting in our screenshot. Now we can cut our image down to its final shape, final size. Now we're going to measure the scale of a ship. So since we have the overall length measurement, we're going to go into our image and we're going to make a selection box from the very extreme sternmost part of the ship to the very extreme bow part of the ship. And we're going to observe that the bounding box is 3,253 pixels long. We're going to divide this number by the meter length that we found earlier, and we're going to find how many pixels in this image is equal to one meter. Once we have that number, I like to put it somewhere on the image so I don't forget it. Now we know that the hologram projector in From the Depths can only increase the size to up to 100 meters wide or high. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use this pixel per meter measurement and figure out how many pixels are in 100 meters. So in order to do that, we just multiply it by 100. So in this case, it'll be 21, or 2,154 pixels. Once you have selected all the 2,154 pixels, you're then going to copy it and create a new uh, document for it. You're then going to save this as whatever you want to call the image. In this case, I would call it Bogue Side 1. So now we're going to go back to our original image, and we're just going to put a mark in this uh, selection, letting us know where the end of it is. Then we're going to select what's rest of the image. And take note of the length. We're then going to divide that number by our pixel per meter measurement from before. This will give us how many meters that this length is. And this is equal to 59 meters. As from before, we're gonna take our new selection, we're going to copy it, we're gonna create a new image and paste it. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna go into From the Depths and start creating the length of your ship. And you're gonna pop the URL of your image. We're going to force to image ratio and we're going to set the width to 100. We're then going to fine tune our image to be where we want it to. And sometimes you might have to move the projector block itself because we can only move it a limited amount using these sliders. As we place the front one, we remember that the width on this one is actually 59 meters. Before you continue, it's always good to make sure that your keel lines up with the blueprint. So we just go to approximately the center of the ship and we're going to build down and in this case it lines up pretty well so we don't need to adjust that. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take the side profile or the top view of our ship. In this case, we want to make sure that we're at the same zoom level as we were before because if you have a good set of blueprints, they'll always be to the same scale. We're going to come back into our photo editing program. We're going to create a new layer and we're going to paste this in it. Once you have it lined up and roughly in the center of your screen, you can go ahead and put the opacity back up. And then we're just going to do like we did before and copy the correct amount of pixels and paste it into a new image. Once you have the image in, you're just going to want to go ahead and make sure you line it up on the center line perfectly. Just do the same for the front image. And so that's use, how you use the holograms to project your blueprints. I've been using this for a little while now, not too long. It's still actually kind of new to me versus my old method. But I am using it on a lot of my other ships, most notably right now. is a perfect recreation of the Cleveland using exact measurements, including 2.4 meter high decks and the USS Ranger, as well as some other ships like the Enterprise. So I hope this helped you, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you have any questions you can always leave them in the comments below. And I um, would like to see your works as well, I'm in the official uh, From the Depths Discord and I usually hang around the Replicas channel, so if you just have a replica or something you can always pop it in there and I'll see it. And I look forward to it. Thanks for watching.